far into the night I raise my hand to the fire But it's no use Cause you can't stop it from shining through It's true Baby, let the light shine through If you believe it's true Baby, won't you let the light shine through For you guys with 147,000 miles my 2008 BMW 335i has done a really great job since owning it uh, I am at that four years of ownership right there uh, on the car bought it with 92,000 miles on it and uh, it has been a blast to drive and it has been my favorite and most reliable car uh, sometimes uh, a lot of the hate comes on with the N54 not being so reliable and honestly, to be honest with you, it's a lot of the parts that go on to the car that sometimes get unreliable. However, if you're replacing those parts or the parts have already been replaced by the previous owner, then you're good to go. Uh, some key success factors as far as this car in general with me owning it. So I bought it from a BMW dealership and of course it did not have a warranty because of the miles that it was at. So I had a pre-inspection done to make sure everything was A-OK -okay, and it was. It was really great and uh, everything passed with flying colors. Uh, I only ran into just a few little minor things after the year mark, but that wasn't too bad. My ownership costs have been really low compared to a lot of other folks, and they continue to stay low. Another success factor has been you know, DIY being my friend. Now, I've done everything DIY on this car. I've not paid a shop one dime uh, to work on this, so I've done everything myself or with friends or family, whatever be the case. So really, it has been great on that aspect. Really, with the cost of owning this car is mostly uh, it's mostly labor costs. And, you know, if you go to a shop or go to the dealer, you know, you're, you, if you look at your labor breakdown compared to how much the part costs, Usually it's a pretty inexpensive part and the labor is like five, six hundred dollars. So, you know, you eliminate a lot of that stuff and then, you know, be good to go with that. So you also want to, you know, check out other YouTube videos that are other guys out there like myself that do even more DIY videos and and to do that. So, you know, of course follow along with those, but not always do video DIYs go over everything. So that's why you wanna also look for like a PDF or Word doc or web page or whatever be the case, uh, usually on n54tech.com or e90post.com as far as to look at your DIYs. You want to properly assess each and every step so that way you feel comfortable going into that and doing that. And I'm telling you, if you do that, you'll be golden right, right there. So uh, this car has been great. So like I said in my previous videos, I will be trying to get something a little bit bigger. I have uh, decided that it's definitely going to be an F10 550i. Going to try for the N63TU um, model, so that's 2014 and up. Um, they made some drastic changes with the engine and a few other little things, but it's mostly the whole engine thing. The tuning capacity has been really great. I've been chatting with Burger Tuning on that, so they got some uh, development stuff going on with that specifically. And uh, really, like I said, just it's all for space. And really, honestly, whoever owns my car next is going to be extremely satisfied, even though it has the, that kind of mileage on it, because the body is great. Every, the interior is perfect. Like, this car has been really great. So, I mean, I encourage all of you, if you are looking at this car, you know, check out my other videos. I go over a lot of those pieces as far as what to look for and some of my maintenance costs and some DIYs. Definitely do your research before you jump in, in this car and really make sure that you're understanding every little piece of it. And also determine if you're buying with the warranty, as in like certified pre-owned, or you're gonna buy an extended warranty at X cost, or you say, you know what, I'm mechanically inclined, I'm gonna do whatever it takes to do it myself or with friends or whatever. So by all means, any of those options are perfectly fine. Obviously I went with no warranty the whole time just because of I like to DIY and it's been fine with uh, with that so just wanted to share obviously just a video dedicated just to this car specifically and you know, of course you know buying it if you haven't already done so already and also guys I want to say you know thank you for sticking around and watching the videos and commenting and checking on Instagram and all the messages on there you know I truly appreciate that and you know it's great to see that I passed 3,000 subscribers 
and uh, many more to come. So, guys, as always, thank you again, and please be sure to subscribe, like, and comment. And I'm about ready to boost on out of here. Take care. See you.